looking to build or in the process of building a home? Well, today I'm gonna to go over just what kind of warranty you'll get with your new home and how to hold the builder accountable for any defects right after this. Hi, Angela here, your favorite DFW realtor. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my weekly videos. So let's dive in. So before you moved into your new home, your local town, city, or municipality most likely inspected and issued a certificate of occupancy. That indicated that the home was, at minimum, livable. However, many new homeowners are unhappy to discover that the certificate doesn't guarantee that everything is in working order or even complete. At least a year's worth of seasonal changes are often needed to put a newly constructed house to the test. For example, only in winter might you discover that water seeps around the window frames, that the landscaping was badly graded and leads to mudslides, or that your home has a mold problem. Uh. And guess what? Your homeowner's insurance policy probably doesn't cover construction defects. You might therefore need to assert your rights against the builder. So you may be wondering if your new home defects are covered by a builder's warranty. Most home builders issue new owners a warranty, often called a limited warranty, on their work, either within the sales contract or as a separate document. Interestingly enough, such warranties aren't necessarily required by state law, though you'll certainly want to check the law in your state and perhaps hire a lawyer for a consultation. The builder's warranty's maximum turn is typically actually a combination of time periods based on the type of needed work. It might be broken up, for example, in one, two, and 10-year terms. Homeowners commonly receive a one-year warranty for labor and materials, two years protection for mechanical defects, plumbing, electrical, heating, air conditioning, and ventilation systems, and 10 years warranty for structural defects in the home. The result is that some of the best parts of the builder's warranty expire quickly, such as for carpeting, tiles, paint, and roofing. If you received a warranty from your home builder, read it over to determine its length, who is supposed to handle problems because the builder might have bought a third-party insurance, and what's covered and excluded. Pay special attention to your own responsibilities under the builder warranty. You might have been given a detailed list of maintenance obligations. Ignoring these gives the builder a perfect excuse to deny your protections under the warranty. So what exclusions are normal to see in a home builder's warranty? Typical exclusions from a builder's warranty include damage due to your own abuse, misuse, neglect, failure by you or your homeowners association to provide maintenance, such as cleaning the gutters, draining your water heater, touching up caulk or grout or dealing with pests, or failure to maintain adequate ventilation and humidity levels in the home. Deterioration of construction materials within expected levels, including warpage or shrinkage within industry standards, or changes due to weather conditions, natural disasters, or soil movement or settling. Damage caused by outsiders such as rioters, vandals, animals, or airplanes, or acts of God. Damage caused by people you hired to work on the property. Your housing costs and expenses if you had to move out while the repairs were being made. And all home appliances or equipment that are consumer products, such as your refrigerator and dishwasher. Some of those do come with warranties and the builder should have transferred those to you. So how do you protect yourself from future builder warranties expiring? Some home defects are hard to detect, so it's worth keeping track of upcoming expiration dates, then worth paying a professional to point out what the builder needs to fix. In fact, many builder's warranties or contracts say they'll send a quality control inspector within the first year to check on your house. Keep track of that date yourself and make sure the builder's inspectors truly seem to be scouting for trouble. If not, hire your own. In preparation for any inspection, make a list of every problem you've observed. Something as apparently minor as a cracked tile could indicate a major problem, like a shifting foundation. So, how do you file a claim? If the defective or damaged item is covered by the builder's warranty, read what it says about the procedures for filing a claim. Many warranties require that you send written notification to the builder, while others give you a hotline to call. In fact, sending a letter to the builder is a great idea regardless of what the warranty says. This shows that you're serious about asserting your rights and creates evidence that you might later wanna use in court. 
Be sure to send the letter by certified mail with a return receipt so the builder can't later claim to not have received it. Also, keep your notes on every conversation with the builder, including the dates. You can use this information to confirm in your letters to the builder what you agreed to. Sometimes you can protect your rights just by notifying the builder of problems within the warranty period. However, some warranties are cleverly written to let the builder string you along without making any repairs until the warranty period has run out and you've lost your rights. And be sure not to bring in any outside contractors to do any of the repairs yet, as this could allow the builder to cancel benefits of the warranty. If your builder isn't accepting responsibility, figure out whether a manufacturer's warranty might apply. For an example, to an appliance, windows, roof, shingles, or other product. You might be able to argue that the product itself failed, in which case a manufacturer that stands behind its product will provide replacements and repairs. The catch, however, is that the product needs to have been installed properly, and improper installation and new construction is often the very core of the problem. So what if the home builder left the work unfinished? If items in your new house simply remain uncompleted, what happens next depends on what you agree to at closing. Your contract may have allowed you to do a closing inspection of the home, at which time you and the builder should have created a punch list of items yet to be done. The seller has a contractual obligation to fix the items on that list, and you should keep insisting on follow through. Don't assume that the home warranty covers uncompleted items. Some warranties specifically exclude them. So what happens when you can't locate the builder at all? Has your builder gone missing? A few builders are fly-by-night operations that close up shop, leave town, and change their name as soon as the work is done, or near to done. For cases like these, go straight to a lawyer for help. So hopefully that clears some things up. And if you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to call, text, or email me. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.